hi guys my name is Sewa and welcome back to part three let me just say episode three now it's time to smudge our picture this is the smudging and the painting process for the digital painting so we're going to choose our special brush and the special brush you download it down below the description link i'm going to put it there it's there and the image also the image ref, the reference to also and also the splatter brush too will be there so make sure you choose the you know smudge special brush and since you have already painted in the picture then we are going to use 10 percent opacity to smudge that is why i said you can smudge before oil painting and you can also smudge after oil painting if you have to smudge before a painting you use 30 percent opacity to smudge and if you have to smudge after oil painting then you use what 10 percent now use 10 percent opacity right now so we are going to paint gradually and gradually can you see just like this make sure you paint neatly and don't paint roughly do you understand so step by step step by step like this now so can you see beside you painting with 10 percent opacity cannot make your work rough only when you just drag you know like zigzag or when you paint you know normally then you have cool smudging like this just smudge you know gently by gently something like that can you see and make sure you smudge neatly smudge the nose side accordingly and smudge the head side accordingly so i'm going to fold this side a bit so nothing to add again to it just only smudge the body with 10 percent opacity you are not going to change the opacity till you keep smudging so you finish smudging every part of the body we only smudge the the face the hand only the skin side we don't smudge any other you can also smudge the clothes too if the clothes is a plain cloth or this kind of clothes we can't smudge it why because it's kind of a pattern clothes it's a design clothes so we don't need to smudge it if we smudge it, it will look weird rough but if it's a plain work then you can smudge and mind you i'm so sorry I'm, i like duplicating my work because i hate photoshop CSs. sometimes it's crash so that's why i'm you know i'm having a copy of my painting in another side so do you, do you understand so now you keep what you keep painting just like this so now i'm going to forward this side a bit thank you very much Now, after we have smudged everything, it's time to paint. Now, you create a new layer and create a clipping mask on the layer. Now, we are going to pick color from the head of the skin. Then, pick any color and make sure it's okay. Then, you click OK. Then, you click on your paint bucket tools. Then, you fill with the color. Every part, then change the option to color. Now, can you see something like this? Once your color is like this, this is going to be a beautiful smudge painting. Why? Because some will be black and some will be dark and if it's dark not like that it's not a good color painting so you have to drag to the left side or the right hand side to get a good color just like this if you can see something like this then you proceed now what you are going to do is use your eraser brush your soft make sure it's on soft brush then you paint the part that you don't need keep you know paint gently and there are two ways of smudge painting one you cut every part on a new layer so that you can so that the color will only affect that part so the color will it will only affect that main part of the work but i don't really really buy that idea because sometimes it gives a line that we do something to that work but with this one it makes everything rhyme together so you just have to use a soft brush and gently clean the parts you don't need and you you can feel free to make a mistake since you have your brush back so once you you know you raise the main part like the skin color you can take back your brush your brush like you know you paint since you have your color pick already so you paint back the skin back so there is no mistake here i think this method is really really cool and it's very very fast so 
this how to you are going to clean the part of it like you know gently and gently you also clean the leaves you are going to clean the leaves then you are going to clean the high latches too also just to clean the necessary part of it so i'm not going to fold it so that you can see what i clean there so you can be able to clean it also can you see this is a cool part and this will be the part three of her the episode three of our digital paintings i'm doing this gradually so that you can have a good quality video and you can be able to understand it step by step and i'm also doing this for the professionals too you know they want they, some won't want to start from the beginning they will be like let me forward this side and let me go and watch so they can just go to my channel and pick anyone they want so that's why and i'm doing it just easy and simple process something like this now feel free and if you, this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel please click the subscribe button please subscribe and you can also search me on facebook on say well graphics i'm very friendly and i don't snub i message immediately i chat with people i laugh i say my mind and i give out so request then i'm going to answer you so let's proceed i work just to clean feel free to clean the part and don't you know and there is like i said earlier there is no mistake on photoshop only when you are tired maybe you want to do a rush work you just quickly do and you save your workload well if you are calm with your work you clean and you clean by mistake take back your brush and paint back so there's no mistake there everything is step by step you understand so see what i'm doing do you see it's really, really cool and feel free to save your work because if you are using photoshop css that is the advice i'm going to give you because photoshop css at time crash and it will be like oh my god the work i've been doing since you know how come you, you know it will it will not be able to open you have some like bad file you know corrupted file something like that so i have experienced such and it's you know it hurts a lot so now that is why i, I have back i'm saving it i'm backing it up so now you are going to clean the leaves also and sometimes we don't need we don't have to paint the leaves back because look at these leaves too you know beautiful too, you know reddish in color and you know it's cool i really like it now gradually you know reduce your brush size and clean the earring you know the sensitive part of the body you need to clean them for them to come out well can you see this is really cool then the eyelashes too feel free to leave the eyebrow because the eyebrow we are going to make an artificial one we are going to make her whole i i really don't buy the eye the eyebrow of the main image i make my own eyebrow to make it look more professional so that's what we are going to do just leave that alone and just only clean this part because we are still going to work on it now how did you see these paintings look cool and beautiful wow 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 if this is your first time coming please subscribe and 